Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on implicit differentiation. Here is the exam question. The equation of a curve C is given by the implicit relationship x over x plus 1 plus y over y plus 1 equal x squared. Show that at the point on the curve C with coordinate p, 1, 1, the gradient is 7. Please pause the video, have a go at this exam question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. So essentially, I'm trying to show that the gradient function dy over dx at the point P with x coordinate 1, y coordinate 1 is 7. To do this, I need to apply implicit differentiation on this implicit equation. So I can start by taking d over dx of x over x plus 1 plus y over y plus 1 equal d over dx of x squared. Let's start off with d over dx of x over x plus 1. Now over here we have a fraction, so we can differentiate a fraction using the quotient rule for differentiation. So I can let u equal x and v equal x plus 1. So u dash will equal 1 and v dash will equal 1. So d of dx of x over x plus 1 is given by the quotient rule. v u dash minus u v dash over v squared. So now I can carry out my substitution. I've got x plus 1 multiplied by 1, which is just x plus 1, minus x multiplied by 1, so that would be minus x, over v squared, so x plus 1 squared. This in turn simplifies to 1 over x plus 1 squared. Okay, now I'm going to find d over dx of y over y plus 1. Again, we've got fractions, so we can differentiate a fraction using the quotient rule for differentiation. I can let u equal y and v equal y plus 1. u dash. I'm differentiating u with respect to x, so I'm differentiating y with respect to x. I differentiate the y as normal, so this gives me 1, but then I must stick in dy over dx because I'm differentiating with respect to x, and it's a y term. v dash equal. Differentiate v with respect to x, so we're differentiating y plus 1 with respect to x. Let's start off with y. If we differentiate y as normal, this gives me 1. But because I'm differentiating y with respect to x, and this is essentially a y term, we must stick in dy over dx. And 1, if you differentiate that with respect to x, you just get 0 because 1 is a constant. Okay, now we can apply the quotient rule for differentiation. It is given by v u dash minus u v dash over v squared. Carry out the substitution. So v, which is y plus 1, multiplied by u dash, which is 1 dy over dx. So this would give me y plus 1 dy over dx. Take away u which is y multiplied by v dash which is 1 dy over dx this will give me y dy over dx all over v squared y plus 1 squared so i've got d over dx of these two terms now i'm going to find d over dx of x squared that is basic so d over dx of x squared we are differentiating x squared with respect to x that would just be 2x Okay, right, so d over dx of x over x plus 1 is just 1 over x plus 1 squared. Plus d over dx of y over y plus 1 will be this beautiful fraction over here. So y plus 1 dy over dx minus y dy over dx all over y plus 1 squared. Equal d over dx of x squared is just 2x. So now I'm going to substitute the coordinates of P, which is x equal 1 and y equal 1. So x equal 1, y equal 1 into this beautiful equation over here to get dy over dx at the point P. Okay, and I need to show that it is precisely 7. So now I'm going to carry out the substitution. The first term becomes 1 over 4 plus, let's have a look at the numerator of this fraction. We've got 1 plus 1, which is 2, so 2dy two over dx, minus 
one lot of dy over dx, so that's just dy over dx, all over 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 squared is 4, equal 2 multiplied by 1, which is 2. Now I need to make dy over dx a subject and show that it is precisely 7 at the point P on the curve C, and the point P has x coordinate 1, y coordinate 1. Right, I can take the equator to the right hand side. Okay, so if I do that, I get 7 over 4. And then I've got 2 dy over dx minus dy over dx. They are like terms. That becomes dy over dx all over 4. So the final step is to multiply both sides by 4. So if I do this, I get dy over dx equals 7 over 4 times 4, which is 7. Therefore, the gradient of the curve C at the point P, which is 1, 1, is precisely 7 as required. And that there, ladies and gents, completes this pure mathematics exam question on implicit differentiation and this teaching video. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.